The Gigabyte M28U has been outstanding, being one of the first monitors to introduce the HDMI 2.1 port for that awesome 4K 120Hz glory. But talking about firmwares, the FO2 to FO3 to FO6 to FO7 to FO8 to F10. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we're going to be talking about the firmware it's introduced with the M28U. Currently you're seeing the monitor on the FO7 firmware, as when I got my monitor it was on the FO3. Then Gigabyte introduced the FO6. But after release, Gigabyte did pull that firmware as it was shortening out the display port. And then they introduced the FO7, which fixed that problem. And to my amazement, introduced what you're seeing here. The outstanding 500 plus nits with local dimming on in SDR mode. SDR mode was even brighter than HDR. And after my findings, Artings did publish an update and they confirmed the amazing brightness that you got with the FO7 firmware. The FO6 slash FO7 did introduce from 20 milliseconds to 13 milliseconds at 60 hertz. So it was a must for next generation console gamers to update to the FO6 or FO7. But like I said, they removed the FO6 and they left us with the FO7. That's the one I downloaded and that's the one Artings had when they updated their monitor. Now in regards to the FO8, many people were asking me to update to that firmware. What does it do? Does it do anything different? I did read the change log which I can't find anymore, but Gigabyte was saying it fixed some display port issues. But they did say, if you're not having a problem, you don't have to update. So I specifically chose not to update because there were also reports stating that they lost the brightness. You can see here, 522 nits sustained versus 312. When I originally got the M28U, I do have videos up versus the Odyssey G70A. Both monitors, the M28U and G70A, use the same Inalux IPS panel. They are very good impactful IPS technology panels. Seriously. They almost look VA-ish when you dial in the black equalizer correctly. It almost gives a VA-ish kind of a look, especially with local dimming. But you can see here in SDR mode, I'm bringing you this information because I want everyone to know, if you're on FO7, do not update. If you go to the FO8 or F10, you will lose your brightness. I love this impactful brightness. I actually use this monitor for my retro collection. You can see with local dimming on and off. Now, if you have the FO7 and you have no issues, of course, don't update. There's no need to. But if you do have this specific problem that bugs you a lot and you don't care about the brightness, then I would say maybe it's better to update. In this specific scene, when I had the M28U versus the Odyssey G7, the 32 inch curved one, I'm slowing it down so you can see the brightness on the M28U. It takes about a second to ramp up, but it does become brighter than the G7, which we all know with local dimming, the G7 can get pretty bright. Everything else being about the same. They both have black equalizer, they have local dimming, except the M28U also sometimes doesn't activate the local dimming, as stated by Artings. But that increase in brightness does make the picture look outstanding. So for next generation console gaming, it's really value oriented, especially with that brightness, because right now at that price, there is no monitor that looks this good with this brightness. I'm showing you here that with my FO7, my backlight sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. It's slow to transition versus every other monitor that I have here on the channel. You can see when it gets bright, it shoots a lot of brightness, but the backlight slowly transitions itself to get back to normal. That's why what the girl's nose, from a black image to the actual image, there is blooming around her nose. Then it settles itself to adjust to the picture. Actually, I have a test on my channel where it says, can your monitor pass this test? All my monitors pass that test except the Gigabyte M28U. Now, I didn't notice it on the FO3, I only notice it on the FO7. Now, Artings does state something about a roll off, but that's an HDR mode. Again, I'm talking about SDR with this impactful brightness. As an HDR, you can't even get this bright. That's what makes everything crazy. This firmware update introduced brightness superior to HDR in SDR mode. Plus, in conjunction with the black equalizer, make this a very contrasty monitor that even surpasses the M32U. So, I guess everyone on the FO7. You're lucky, as we're very few if you didn't update. And I won't be updating, I just want to bring this video to you. Artings is stating that the F10 does lower the brightness. So if you're on the F07 and you love your brightness, do not update. I'm not sure if you can roll back to an F07. If you go to the Gigabyte website, they do have the firmwares available. You can see the F03, F07, F08, and F10. So I'm not sure if you can go back to the F07 if you already updated to the F08 or if your monitor came with a newer firmware. Plus, even if you update to the F07, I'm not sure you'll still be able to get that increased brightness. So it's a trade-off. Increased impactful brightness with a slow backlight. Or as the monitor was specified, a 300 nit monitor with a faster backlight. Because the backlight now doesn't have to transition itself that drastic because it's not so bright. So friends, there you have it. The Gigabyte M28U does have a new firmware update, the F10. And it does drastically revert back to standard levels. If I was you and you're on the F07 and you're happy, do not update. You don't need to do anything. You're good to go. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help to make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more information on these two amazing monitors. 
the Gigabyte M28U and the Odyssey G7. Both amazing, both still very bright. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.